Now, let me do a couple of more things. See, we're in a new historical era. That began in uh, September of 2019. We shifted into what is known in Hebrew, the pay era, which pay means the voice. It has several meanings. It means coming face to face. It means Passover. And why we could so clearly hear the Lord, you could see that the Passover of 2020 would begin the future history of America and the world. Now, I'm just as devoted to many other nations in the world, but I love the nation God chose for me. And this nation now, God has brought it to the crossroads of revolution and say, wait a minute, America just shifted. And so, beginning at Passover 2020, every Passover is a milestone in a new era. This new era, it's historically new. We have an incredibly rich history, but now we're recording the next season's history. Mary, now that's important for the first people to understand that. And it's this Passover era, every year we get evaluated on how we cross over. And then it's a new wineskin era. Now, John, I want the elder to share the, what the Lord gave her about the wineskin. So if you'll come up here with me. It's a new wineskin era. There she is, right, third row back. Um, that means we're changing form and we're receiving revelation we've never received before. Don't make it all spooky. I was, I, I've gotten into this praying in tongues thing because Robert spoke on it last week. So I said, okay, I'm going to do it every day for 15 minutes, Lord. You know, I'm a good church person now, now, and I said, he spoke on tongues, it was the best message ever, I'm going to pray in tongues, and I started praying in tongues for 15 minutes, and all of a sudden, I just heard prophetically things I'd never heard before, and one of the, yeah, John had preached on it at our place, I remember the message, but you know, some of us, we're brain heavy, at times. Never been my problem. No. That's why you could preach on it. Now, uh, and uh, the Lord said this to me. I've recorded every day the one thing he did in me because he's done something in me every day. But what he said to me yesterday was this. It's painful when you're shedding last season's skin. <laughs> I looked over the Lord. I said, I feel like a snake. I'm telling you, I, I don't. And I, I, I saw the relationship, what we're all going through. We are shedding last season's skin, and we're having to come out of it. And... and uh, Peeling that skin off can be painful. 
that's like a new wineskin for me. Now give us that word. Okay. Hi, my name is Leslie. I'm part of John and Cheryl's church in New Jersey. Uh, I'm part of their special ops team, and I got a word yesterday, um, and it was talking about Chuck here in Scranton. I saw him with a corkscrew, and he was on a plot of land, and he put this corkscrew down into the land. He twirled it around. Pulled, when he pulled it out, all of this debris came flying out, and after that came this new wine. And here's what the Lord, I'm going to read what I wrote, because this is what the Lord had said to me. Um, the Lord said, all the preparation so far has led to this moment when Chuck comes to release new wine into the new wineskins who have gathered, that's us, we're the new wineskins, who have gathered together in Scranton. The new wine has been held back from flowing forth and needs to be uncorked. Let's, and then this is what I said to them, that we needed to make a decree. So they've been praying since yesterday about this. Let's declare that new wine will be released abundantly into all those in attendance, that's all of us, and those viewing online, because this will be available online, and those praying, because there are people who are praying who can't make it here. Um, and that the uh, wine will flow through the U.S. and release kingdom power across the land. So I declare that kingdom power is being released across the land because of what is happening this weekend here in Scranton. Let's thank God for that. Now I want you to do something. Let's all stand up for a moment. You're going to reach down with that corkscrew. Look how many of you are here now. You're going to take that court screw by the spirit, a prophetic act, and you're going to screw it into the ground. Now, Father, we decree that all of these court screws are unlocking years of debris. We decree right now that that which has been layered over and even roots that have been crusted over we decree that all of a sudden, let's pull it up and pull it out. We decree that there is a cork popping going on in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Let's give a shout. Well, 